بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایڈمرل محمد امجد خان نیازی چیف آف دا نیول اسٹاف فارمر چیف آف نیول اسٹاف کمانڈانٹ پاکستان نیول اکیڈمی فورن ڈیلیگیٹس چیف منسٹر آف سندھ ایکسلنسیز ڈسٹنگش گیسٹ آفیسرس مڈ شپ مین اینڈ کیڈیٹس آن پریڈ لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین السلام علیکم اٹ از اے میٹر آف ایمنس پلیجر فار می ٹو ریویو دی کمشننگ پریڈ ٹوڈے اٹ از ویری ہارٹنگ اینڈ انکریجنگ ٹو وٹنس دیز ایلیگنٹلی ڈریسڈ یگ اینڈ پرومسنگ مڈ شپ مین اینڈ کیڈیٹس برمنگ وتھ کانفیڈنس اینڈ پرائڈ It is also an auspicious occasion in the lives of these young men and women who are about to start their wonderful naval career with a sense of great achievement and pride. Dear Commissioning Term, it is undeniably a privilege to join the ranks of the finest men and women who have chosen to serve their country and defend its maritime frontiers. I am particularly pleased to witness that female cadets also form part of today's commissioning parade. It signifies their innate strength and confidence to step into the seafaring realm. They serve as role models for young Pakistani girls and I hope they will inspire millions of girls to pursue their dreams and acquire success in their chosen fields. Ladies and gentlemen, you must continue to preserve and prove your mettle to be acknowledged as worthy of this noble and demanding profession. Pakistan Navy has a rich legacy of valor and professionalism and now It is your turn to further enhance and strengthen this legacy. I also extend my warm compliments to the parents of the commissioning term present here. It is undoubtedly your upbringing that has primarily instilled the spirit to serve the nation in these young men and women. Ladies and gentlemen, Let me also say, it is truly heartwarming to note that Pakistan Naval Academy is extending quality training services to cadets from friendly countries. These training officers from Bahrain, Palestine, Qatar and Saudi Arabia present here today are a testimony to this resolve. As we have heard today, the 12th Pakistan Naval Academy trained, friendly countries graduates have risen to the highest pedestal of their professional careers and, command, and commanded their respective navies. This is a matter of great honor for all of us and people of Pakistan. I am sure that the friendship developed here at the Academy will only strengthen more as these officers will go back as Pakistani trained brand ambassadors to their respective nations and further enhance mutual bonds of brotherhood and affinity. Dear officers on parade, you must remain confident that the training you have received at Pakistan Naval Academy has prepared you well to start a challenging and exciting naval career. It is now upon you to serve professionally with complete devotion and dedication to achieve excellence for your service and for your motherland. Your character, integrity and conduct and your expertise will be replicated by your subordinates. Your dealings therefore must be fearless, firm and fair 
for you to become a role model as a leader. Remember, your task is neither simple nor easy. Skillful mariners are not made on calm seas, nor are their metal chiseled by gentle waves. Indeed, formidable trials and unfriendly environments and muddy waves of life will measure your strength and resolve. Great responsibilities will rest upon your young shoulders as you rise through the ranks. Therefore, the sacred oath you are about to take should be your guiding principle and beacon. Ladies and gentlemen, maritime domain is continuously evolving, mainly due to technological advancements and changing geopolitical realities. These changes are taking place globally as well as in our region. History has taught us that only those nations trans have transformed into global powers who have acknowledged the importance and primacy of a strong navy. Navies have traditionally been the mainstay of comprehensive national security of nations. This phenomenon continues to prevail and is likely to gain more significance in times to come. The events of recent years have reminded everyone about the critical importance of Pakistan maintaining strong defense against external and internal threats. All our three services, Army, Air Force and Navy, have proved their mettle against threats on our borders. The nation is proud of our armed forces and pay tributes to all the Shohada and their families. These valiant men and women in uniform have given the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. A grateful nation salutes them. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say that Pakistan Navy's strategic role in the defense of our maritime borders will continue to gain significance in the years ahead. Our country is blessed with a large coastline situated in one of the most strategically important locations in the region. This holds vast potential and we must utilize it for strengthening our defenses and boosting our economy. There is work to be done. Such work requires foresight, vision and a strong political will to make things happen. We must make plans, but more important, we must implement them at lightning speed. There is no more time to waste. I visualize Pakistan Navy contributing significantly in these plans while ensuring that its vigilance of our maritime borders remains second to none. Pakistan's economic future hinges upon the success of CPAC with Gawada port as its major component. To achieve this end, the need for a strong and vibrant Navy is very important and than ever before. Besides this, our adjoining sea areas are home to multiple security challenges and I am glad that Pakistan Navy with its available resources continues to perform and fulfill our international obligations most effectively. Pakistan believes in peaceful coexistence and wants to promote a friendly neighborhood. We do not harbor any aggressive designs against any country. However, our desire for peace must not be misconstrued as a sign of weakness or indifference. Any disguised, any disguised or unnatural arrangement for supremacy would neither succeed nor serve the purpose of peace and stability. Those who have tried to threaten our land, aerial and maritime defenses in the recent years have gotten a befitting response from us. 
This should serve as a reminder to all those harboring ill intentions, intentions that Pakistan armed forces are fully capable of defending our country against all threats and odds. Ladies and gentlemen, the father of our nation, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jannah, envisioned Pakistan as a country that would be economically robust, militarily strong, and socially cohesive. He envisioned a country where our citizens would be educated, empowered, and tolerant. Our founding father wanted Pakistan to become a role model for the Islamic world and for all developing nations of the world. Our journey of the last 75 years has hit many hurdles and snags. It is a journey of missed opportunities, but it is never too late. It is difficult, but not impossible. It is my firm belief that if we, that if we can learn from our mistakes and resolve to compensate for the lost time, we can still transform Pakistan into a country dreamt by Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jannah and Alama Muhammad Iqbal. I also believe economic progress can only take place in a peaceful environment. It is therefore our government's resolve to make all necessary resources available to strengthen Pakistan Navy for making our seaward defense impregnable and promoting the blue economy. In this regard, I am pleased to know that Pakistan Navy is rapidly developing her indigenous capability and pursuing it with greater vigor. A number of ongoing and future projects, including joint ventures with friendly and brotherly countries, will augment our defense capabilities and give impetus to our Navy's offensive punch. Let me also assure you that the nation stands firmly behind you and shall ensure that Pakistan is equipped, Pakistan Navy is equipped with the latest technology and equipment to protect our maritime interests. In the end, I would applaud the commissioning term on achieving this significant landmark in their brilliant career. I would particularly like to facilitate midshipman Adnan Muhammad Ibrahim Jassim of Bahrain for winning Academy's Dirk and Quarter Deck Squadron for winning the Proficiency Banner. Mabarook Jaddan Akhil Kareem. My dear commissioning term, today as you join in the ranks of men and women dedicated to their profession, you shall follow in the footsteps of Shohada and Rajis and become the pride of our nation. We are all very proud of you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be your guide and shower his choicest blessings and mercies upon all of us. Ameen. Pakistan Navy, Zindabad, Pakistan, Zindabad.